Hello guys, I hope you're doing very good and on this tutorial we're going to see how to add back on every type of simulation so hop in and enjoy and and okay so let's make a geometry so to start with we want to add a box I'm going to set it on the ground basically I'm copying this relative reference pasting it here and dividing it by two now let's change the dimensions I think something like this will be okay. And let's ISO offset stuff here. Let's add 100 subdivisions. And let's scatter some points inside. This is okay to start with. Now let's make a let's make a point. And let's merge these two guys together just to so we can see this. Okay, so we have the points, which is basically here. I'm going to animate this. So, Alt, left click, and move the point wherever you want. You can do anything or any type of animation you desire. It doesn't really matter what you do, as long as you get a result out of it. So I think that we're going to be okay with this. Right, point is doing this motion, and we are going to add a velocity here. Right, this will be a complete velocity. We are going to add a wrangle, and on this wrangle, we are going to add a velocity equals to zero. This will be because the attribute transfer likes, uh, likes to merge or to transfer attributes that already exist, otherwise it's going to be difficult. So we have this and we want to transfer the velocity. So far we got nothing, but now you can see that we start to get something out of here. See, these are the velocities. This is too much, so I'm going to go 0.3 and 0.3. We should be getting this kind of result. We can even increase this to 0.5. And now we have our velocity, see? There it is. I want to distort this a little bit, so let's go and use point bop. The point bop will basically uh, we will basically abet our points, or we will distort our points, making a curl noise. But, uh, so we will use a flow noise. I like to use the flow noise, but the other noise, a flow anti flow noise. We're going to use the velocity and paste it on the position. We're also going to use an add, a merge the velocity with this guy here and use and use this on 3D. Okay, so, so far we got nothing because we should add this to the points. Now we're going to see something. See, we can go here and go to Go to guides and increase the vector size. So we can see this better. So we got a problem. The noise is everywhere. We don't want this. In fact, I'm going to just mess a little bit with this and send them to two eight. Okay, so we have problem. The noise is everywhere, everywhere. But we know that by fact, not everywhere we have velocity initially. So we are going to use a length to calculate the magnitude of the velocity and set it on a multiply after the noise right so so there will only be <laughs> this kind of motion where the sphere goes through or the point goes through now that we got this we're going to rasterize attribute we're going to use velocity and well that's pretty much it now we have our points i have a setup here which is standard we might not need this, but basically what I'm doing is I'm going to do it from scratch. What I'm doing is copy this paste relative. I'm going to copy this, multiply and paste relative and divide it by four. Oh, we don't have anything because we need to put velocity and now we see. Okay, so if we reduce the scale, now we can see that we have this kind of velocity. This is very cool, we can basically blur it and normalize clamp. Now this is our velocity. Maybe we want a little more scale, it doesn't matter if it looks like a blob. 
So let's merge these guys here and make an old null. This will be equal to out velocity. Now, we want to have some points. Let's grab this is offset and scatter. I'm going to scatter somewhere around. A little more. It will be okay. You will see it will load so fast in the pop network. Let's add a null. And this will be out part particles. Let's shift O. And now let's make our system. First of all, object merge. We want to have our velocity here. Let's grab this here. And we want to have our particles here. Let's make a pop network. And we will plug the velocity to the second input and the particles to the first one. Let's hop in. We don't have anything. Uh, I mean, we have this, but it doesn't work. We're going to just use on all points. On BERT, we're going to use dollar $FF equals to 1. And only on the first one we will have the points. We don't want the guides, we only want the points. And nothing is going on. What we need to do is to grab a pop at back. Pop at back with volume. And we want to use our second input. And the field name will be Velocity. We have a lot of data force and we will see how this moves. Now we have a nice simulation, which is really fast. This is, remember, this is 100,000 points. So how do we visualize this? Let's go back. And let's do, go and grab a pop, uh, a point pop. And let's hop in. We want to use the velocity. So we're going to use wrap the length of the velocity. And we want to use a ramp. Your arm will be the color of our simulation. So for this flag, I'm going to use red. And when it goes fast, what I want to use is instead of uh, white, you know, this kind of color. We can obviously go back here into our point bob and use a fit. Remember, this is a float, so it will work as intended. And we can mess around with colors. Uh, now, if we want to have even more fun, we can go here and write dollar alpha or at alpha equals 0.1, and we will see this kind of animation. It looks quite good, in my opinion. One more thing is, I'm going to well, copy points, I'm going to grab a sphere, and I'm going to grab this point. We're going to use a null, go here, and say this will be out point. Object merge, drag this here, and plug this guys right like so. Merge, and we will see this, our sphere. We need to make it a little bit smaller. And look at this, that action. It looks quite nice, right? So I just want to show you how this looks so we, i'm going to use a trail volume trail i'm going to use these points plug it in points trail and here on the second input now we see our velocity see i'm also going to merge this with the points because i want to have some context i'm going to use a null and call this visualize or beige out this or is it this i think it's this so far so good i'm going to use an object merge again and move these guys here so now we can merge these two guys and, and compare just to see how it works i'm going to use a transform node and move this guy to our right this is how it works. Very good, right? You can visualize what's going on and you can see the effect. Now, this setup is really iterative, so you can mess around with this. We're going to copy and paste this one here. And in this case, we will prepare an RBD. So let's grab a Boronoid tractor. Let's plug this box in and let's plug this box out here too. 
we grab and look at the shading, or I mean the, the wire shaded, we will see this. We can divide this a little bit more and use brick. We'll have this set up. This is because the maximum edges, if we remove, you only have cubes. We can reduce the size so we have a little bit more bricks. And I'm going to just go ahead, no need to worry, worry about the names at this moment. Like so, and it will be out RPD. So let's pop in here. Right here, we have the set of hot particles. I want to have out RBD. Copying. The only thing that we will change is the issue about the solver. This will here. This will go here. This, these two guys will go. Uh, RBD packed objects will go into the first one. We will use the first context. This is OK. And we'll remove this one. And we will just increase this to maybe six. I forgot, just one step. We need to obviously assemble this. Let's go here, packed. Now we have the names. Each one will be piece. I really don't care about this tutorial on the, on the names. It's not an RBD oriented tutorial. And let's see how it works. See, it works amazingly. We can obviously reduce this to maybe three. We can reduce it to maybe one or even less. We can add direct this really good. Okay, so I'm going to change one, one more thing. This will be a merge and this will be a ground. I'm going to set this on the left side and we are going to use a gravity node. And our RBC setup is already done. I'm going to just uh, enable these two guys and, and write RBD here. So if we look closely, we'll see this kind of interaction. I think this is okay. And we can even maybe just add a little bit more force now. Let's go back to six now that we have the gravity. Boom. Amazing. It almost looks like it's actually colliding, right? Okay, so now let's move to the next one. Let's merge these two with, with another transform. We'll do the following right here. And we will merge this guy like so. Let's be organized. We have this and let's move it to the right. Now we have three simulations. Isn't it? Easy, look. Okay, so our final simulation will be based on this ISO offset. We will grab this box and use an ISO offset. And I'm going to set this name to density and 100 division. And that's pretty much it. This is out density. And we're going to do the same. We're going to copy this here. We're going to do the first frame. And instead of out RBD, we're going to use out uh, density. And we can just merge these two guys together. We don't need a second input. Now we have the density and the velocity. Let's hop in. We're going to remove this one, this one, this one, uh, <laughs> this one, this one. We're going to remove everything. We're going to use a um, mode sparse object, sparse solver, and volume source. We're going to plug everything together like so. And this will be on the first context, and this will be just a simple smoke. We're going to remove the pattern and let's see how this works. It works flawlessly. So we're going to remove these two guys. We can use a top import fields. We're going to move this here. This will be a smoke instead. And we're going to use our our object. There we go. I, I forgot for a moment. I'm going to 
uh, plug the, the smoke preset. We're going to visualize this with a volume visualization. Plug this in here. Let's go do the following. Set density here. Now so let's see how it looks everything together. So have this transform, plug it in here. And let's watch everything together. Let's move this aside. And let's make a flipbook. So this is how it looks. Isn't this amazing? You can drive or you can art direct your simulation with just a single advection. From pops to RPD to a simple smoke simulation. It's amazing what you can do and I hope this is useful for you guys. Hello guys again and if you enjoyed the video please leave a like, subscribe to our channel and join our Discord where we'll be talking about every kind of effects possible. So see you next time.